So this is my AC Mott Spot Welder. I got this. It's a 1100 watt transformer out of a AC microwave transformer oven. This is a timing control board, power control board. It's $12 on eBay. It's the 40 amp version. I'm using 110 volts, so I'm only ever going to use a 15 or 20 amp plug, so that works just fine. It's got dials on the front, timing, power. Now I use a uh, solid two gauge wire rather than like a, you know, like a flexible two gauge wire or something because uh, this, I think it has like 12 or 16 strands, but it's got a smaller diameter and the outside coating is also smaller because most of these transformers have the same size window or relatively the same size window. So if you want to get the maximum power, you got to get the thickest amount of copper in. The electricity is absorbed through the copper and then the amount of turns you have on it is going to just equal the amount of volts you get. So you need a certain amount of volts to get, you know, pressure to get this electricity out the line, right? Without causing too much resistance, usually which is going to be about two and a half turns, two and a half on the front, three turns on the back. But uh, the amount of current you're actually going to absorb is going to depending on the thickness of the wire. It doesn't matter how much you wrap it around or nothing like that. It's the thickness of the wire. Also, you can wrap a thin wire around this as much times as you want. The wire can only carry so much. If a wire is carrying a lot of current, it's going to cause a lot of resistance. It's just all losses. It's just going to be all heat in the line, eh? Just trust me. It doesn't matter how much cable you put in this transformer. It's about how thick a cable you put in there for power. And you need at least a minimum amount of turns. Two and a half on the front. You should be viewing three on the back. I have the white line, neutral, going right to the transformer. We're controlling the hot line, the black line. It's just the black line that's being controlled by the board. The microwave oven that I took the transformer out of also had a 9 to 12 volt transformer on its power control board. I took that out and I'm using that to operate this board. So this board needs an AC power source. I have the same setup in this other welder here. And this has a 1000 watt transformer. So this welder here is 110 volts, 15 amps. And it welds 0.2 millimeter nickel strip, 0.3 millimeter nickel strip, 0.4 millimeter nickel strip. It can do six layers of 0.2 nickel. As for example, like I have this built up here. I have power, I have some little room constraints in my pack here. So I got these two packs that will be hooked up in series. So I want the least amount of resistance. So I want to mimic like it's, it's almost hooked up together as one, eh? So uh, I'm going to weld on this strip here after it's already got the six gauge wire uh flexible wire on it welding wire so i'll just weld it on there and i'll still only use four on the timing <coughs> excuse me and that's welding the strip to strip to cell remember the more material the more resistance resistance welding and the timing on here goes up to like 30 or something like that <coughs> So yeah, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Just go to your local junkyard and get a transformer out of a large uh, microwave oven. 12 to 1500 watt. And then eBay, I'll put a link in the, in the description for the board. Yeah, and just absolutely beautiful welds. You can order the copper. Get a nice hard copper when you order copper rod sock. Take it, sand it down on the end. Just fucking jam it in there. I just took... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, I just took a screwdriver and it's uh, more of the, the, the 12 or 16 strand solid wire. I just jammed this up in the middle, made it wiggle it around so I got a little spot, shoved that in there and crammed it in there. Good to go. Put some tape around it. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a good one. Cheers.